Hey, what's happening guys? We're going to talk real quick today about building yourself a fixed output voltage power supply. I've talked about this here and there in the past, but uh, I got a specific question uh, from Dave who wanted to know exactly how we could go about from our AC mains to a 5 volt fixed output power supply. And I'm guessing he chose 5 volt because that's probably one of the most popular voltages we're seeing these days you know with regards to USB and everything like that so that's what we're gonna do now I'm not gonna get into how to uh, go from your AC mains uh, and, tr and uh, lower the voltage down you're gonna need to use a transformer um, here's a warning if you're playing around with AC mains, you better know what you're doing, or you could seriously hurt or kill yourself. So, what you do from here on out is at your own risk. So, let's just say we've gone from our AC mains with a transformer down to 20 volts, and that's where we're coming in here. And from that, we've simply taken uh, four diodes and built ourselves a simple full bridge rectifier. Our AC comes in here at these two points. DC comes out here at these two points. Uh, if you can, save yourself some trouble. Buy yourself a simple bridge rectifier IC. This is a KBP307. Just saves you from having to set up the diodes. But I've done it for so long that it's really no big deal whatsoever. So let's take a look. I'm going to hook up. Um, I'm going to hook up the scope here. So we can take a look at what we're what we've got going in, and then we'll we will uh, of course take a look at what comes out. All right, so we're going to roll up here and take a look at the scope. And there you go. You see, we've got a 20 volt peak to peak sine wave. Nothing spectacular, but I mean that's what you'd expect from AC that's had its voltage lowered down so that's the voltage in, or that's the waveform in now let me uh, let me grab a couple of things I can poke in here so that we can hook up to the output come on play nice There we go. Now this is the output of the full bridge rectifier. And you can see, well, you can't really see that that well there, but kind of ugly. But that's because there's no load on it. If we, uh, if we just junk a load on there real quick, you will see what you expect to see. There you go. You see our 60 Hertz has been rectified to 120 Hertz. I'm not sure why that's showing us that, but okay. Anyway. So you now see we have our rectified voltage out. So the next thing we're going to do, and just to make this easy, I'm just going to bring our positive voltage rail down to the bottom so I can work everything off the bottom here. And we're going to use a little voltage regulator I see this is a 7805 and the pins go input common output. So we'll plug it in here. here. Sure why not here. And then we're going to take our positive DC voltage and put it into the leftmost pin. Now, the most important thing when you want to have a DC voltage to power sensitive devices is you want a filtered output. So to filter our output, we want to filter each step along the way. If you don't, what happens is a, a small error here is magnified here and is magnified at our final output state. So you keep getting that error amplification and everything gets bigger. So we're going to filter each step. We're going to start with a 0.33 microfarad capacitor here. 
right on pin one and that goes to ground pardon my big sausage fingers just like that and then our common pin goes directly to ground just like that and then we're going to use a 0.1 microfarad capacitor over here on our output like that and it also goes to ground now remember a capacitor is going to block DC current and only pass AC so what we're doing is we're smoothing out that ripple so now we're going to take our output over here from pin number three that's our output and what do I do with that resistor so that we have to have a load or it won't behave properly so if we just go like this and we put our load in here we can now take a look at our output here and there you see our output we are seeing 5.4 volts peak to peak why are we seeing that now you want to keep in mind that that is not a very pretty waveform for DC so again like I said what we have to do with that is we have to filter it so let's take a uh, what we got here can't even see it this is a 470 microfarad capacitor and let me move a couple things around so, so that we have room to work we'll put our 470 here in in parallel with that and we'll plug it in And now you see, we have a much better voltage. You see we're right there on five volts. Okay, there's two volts. So two, four, five. And you see we have 160 millivolts peak to peak. That's pretty smooth. If you want to increase your filtering, all that you need to do is change out or add to your filtering capacitor something bigger this is the biggest capacitor I have on hand 3300 microfarad we'll plug it in here hopefully and this should smooth things out considerably yeah now if you go up there and you take a look you can see it can't even find a frequency and we've got 160 millivolts I thought I'd be lower than that there we go about 80 millivolts peak to peak so that is your basic DC fixed output power supply are there other ways to do it yes of course there are other ways to do it you could use a uh, capacitive dropper um, those are a little bit dangerous I don't recommend you play with that stick with a bridge rectifier it's a very well used common technology everybody knows how to do it you'll find a ton of documentation out there and and the same with um, regulating your power go with a simple um, what did I do with the box of them here they are the uh, 7800 series rectifiers you can find them for whatever you want there's a uh, 5 6 8 9 10 12 15 18 24 volts you can also get them in negative voltages um, last thing before we go I want to thank uh, our viewer Mike for these wonderful wire strippers I really like them 
They are the uh, No Easy, and they are model uh, LS700D with a cutting range of 0.5 to 6 millimeters, 175, 170 millimeter length. They work absolutely fantastic. I've been using them to make all my breadboard wires lately. They have this uh, adjustable throat in here. So you just pop your wires in there like this. Click. And you get a perfect strip. So thanks, Mike. Thank you guys for watching. Big thanks to the uh, patrons. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.